Now, here's here's what we need to do. We need to put a little bit of pressure on the San Ramon Valley School District to uh, do the right thing here and, and step in. So it turns out that the, um, the the student government leader, and I decided not to name this child. I mean, okay, we're talking about a kid, uh, an underage kid. And uh, we, you know, anyway, I know some of the other uh, news organizations have identified who this person is, but you need to understand what they're dealing with over there in uh, San Ramon. They say that uh, the national anthem is racist because of the third verse of the song, which uh, has a reference to the hireling and the slave. However, there's a lot of controversy and uh, there's a lot of debate over exactly what the what Francis Scott Key was referring to. But the, the, uh, the student body president said that the national anthem finds joy in the killing of African Americans. This, this is what the student government president alleged. This is what we're dealing with. So they have a student advisor, and you heard Dennis uh, reference the student advisor, and uh, she actually defended the banning of the national anthem said the national anthem is problematic and should have been removed so this is just great so now we have a we we have a teacher encouraging young people to disrespect american values and traditions in a public school classroom this is unacceptable and inexcusable ladies and gentlemen by the way i knew this i knew this school district sounded familiar January 24th on the Todd you got to go to toddstarns.com and you can find this story for yourself. This is the same school district that had the bulletin board on the um, elementary school walls that was promoting um, gender stereotypes with the unicorn. This is the same school district that used a sex columnist to encourage little boys and girls, five and six year olds to question their gender identity. This is like some big cesspool out there. And then you got brave patriots like Dennis there trying to stand up and do the right thing. And he's got a great point. Why is it that five five people in a student government group are deciding what the rest of the school is going to do? Well, we're exposing this little nonsense, and uh, we're going to get to the bottom of it. And we need you to as well. So you need to contact the San Ramon Valley School District and give them a piece of your mind. Otherwise, the Star Spangled Banner, ladies and gentlemen, may have survived the bombs bursting in air. But I don't know if they're going to be able to survive this rampaging mob of politically correct inclusivists. That's a new word I just made up. Inclusivists. Tag them with the fascist and the Marxist. The whole lot of them. Unbelievable.